The very first time I came to Chiswick in the mid-50s was to go to the Empire. I'd never been to Chiswick before, probably to see Tommy Steele, I imagine. Um, and then I came to the... Um, I, I was a regular visitor from then on. And so when I was asked to do the timeline, um, you to think of an image for Chiswick, that was the very first thing that sprang to mind, was to do something about the Empire. And. It's okay to say now because the competition winner is about to be announced. Tell me some of the characters you've got in the montage. Well, uh, 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 the characters I saw there, I mean, I went to the, the final week, which was Liberace. Um, I, I would have seen um, Wilson Keppel and Betty there. I, I would have seen Tommy Steele, Cliff Richard, all, you know, all kinds of various people there. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Of those, uh, Mac, Max Miller is my favourite, yeah. So I, I definitely saw him there, Max Wall, I would have seen. Max Miller was my favourite musical person, yeah. Wouldn't it be great to have something like that in Chiswick now? Oh, wouldn't it be one? And it was a, one, it was a, a Frank Matcham theatre, it's a great theatre, the tragedy that it was ever pulled down. And I think there was a certain amount of protest at the time, but it seemed like it had ended, its, you know, musical had finished, it seemed like the time to pull it down, but if it were there now, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. So you were asked to do this for the Chiswick timeline. What do you think of the project? A terrific project. Yeah, I didn't know anything about it until I was asked. Um, it'll, it'll certainly beautify that little bit of Chiswick, which has always been a bit of a mess, hasn't it? The, the tiles there and the, the hoarding. Um, yeah, so it's a great, great project. And, and a lot of other local artists as well are involved so it'll, look, it'll beautify it. And what a lovely thought 50 years on from the Sergeant Pepper cover to do something that is a nod in that direction. Was that your idea? It's, I always say it's not another Sergeant Pepper because I, I did crowds before Sergeant Pepper and since so it's another crowd um, and, and, and it, it, fitted, it fitted this particular project very well yeah. And the Sergeant Pepper cover must have changed your life 50 years ago. How did it change your life? It became a, a, there isn't time to go into it, but it became a bit of an albatross. You know. you, you'll probably find, um, you know, before the afternoon's out, people will be bringing Sergeant Peppers up for me to sign. And I was only ever paid £100 to do it. So it's a bit of a, it's, it's a cross I bear. And nobody got everybody. I think the big bug pair was the, harmon the harmonica rascals and Harry Hemsley, they were the tricky ones. I mean, even I didn't know who Harry Hemsley was when I looked again. Um, so I'll, I'll make the draw and good luck to whoever wins it. And it's number 107. Karen knows who 107 is. Paul Beard. Is there anybody called Paul Beard uh, within reaching desk? distance of the stage. If so, you have won the wonderful sign print. If not, obviously, we can get it to you. A huge round of applause, please, Sir Peter Blake.